Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Subs Cooking in Indian and Punjabi style. I'm going to cook today pork chops and I'm going to cook it in my way, in my style and I wanted to share with you what things I do in order to make my pork chops so tasty, so mouth watery that once you eat it, you fall in love with it and my pork chops always comes as a moist when you eat it as pork tends to when you cook in the oven become dry but my pork chops stay nice and moist and you enjoy with each bite and I'm going to share with you how do I cook it I have my pork chops and I'm gonna have all purpose flour, just a handful. I'm going to have a complete seasoning, it's a lemon seasoning. So I'm going to have that seasoning. Even though I have that seasoning, I'm going to uh, add a little bit of salt and uh, about one and a half teaspoon then uh, I like my chop uh, pork chops a little bit hot and crunchy so I'm going to add like a three spoons of black pepper and once it's all uh, done I'm going to mix it so I just use uh, you know hands to mix it and uh, mix okay so I'm gonna show you what are things I do in order to uh, these are fresh pork chops and they are beautiful in big sizes big chunks as I'm gonna lay down I'm gonna share with you something uh, on a couple of them then I can come back to you later and show you at this moment I see a little bit uh, you know the fat on the side I'm not going to use it so I'm just gonna cut it off I'm going to discard that because I I don't want that to be on my pan it's just gonna be dripping oil once it's gonna be cooking and uh, that's uh, the chunks I'm going to discard it what I'm going to share with you with these uh, three of them, I'm going to use some olive oil. What I do, I just like you are doing a marinated, uh, marinating something, I'm just going to rub it off a little bit olive oil. In just a little, you know how they look shiny and uh, nice. So that's uh, the uh, one reason. Other reason is very important which I'm going to share with you um, I'm gonna come back for that four but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing it I'm gonna grab a, I have a ball since olive oil helps uh, when we are going to do this the coating as for the flour the seasoning we put it on so once we do this if you notice that how beautiful how it turned out nicely evenly coated my seasoning so I'm gonna put on my pan I have a more uh, pork chop so what I'm gonna do the same process I'm gonna do oil and dip it into my you know the seasoning and I'm gonna put it on the pan then I'm gonna share you I have started my own at 400 degree and it's already coming up to 268 so I'm gonna share with you that um, I'm going to cook it my way and the traditional way which is a normal everyone out there cook it the way they do it they grab the tray let me show you and then once they have the seasoning done they just put it into the tray so once they do that I'm going to show you the real comparison one by one pieces and you will feel the difference and you're gonna say wow 
that is something amazing. Let me take these to my own and you can follow. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick these in and like uh, 25 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm gonna check it out. After 15 minutes, I'm gonna see how it's doing. And once it's doing good, then I'm gonna, this is the traditional way, the way we, everyone does it. And you expect to do it the same, but my way of doing it, the way I'm gonna do it, I'm going to fill this one with the pan with the water. And it's a good idea, you do it uh, like warm water because uh, again, you know, rather than have your own drink, uh, make it hot, you know, it's better to begin with the hot or warm water than what it does that uh, my cooking that I like my chicken or rather pork or beef I want them to cook as a moist I don't want you know my food to be dried really that where the time comes when you're eating it you kind of chewing on it you are making yourself harder on you I rather than enjoying you just keep chewing if you take a look how beautiful it's gonna be set up I'm just gonna roll this one in that is my style of doing it and when these gonna come you are going to taste it they are going to taste fresh shops in the oven almost uh, 30 minutes and as I said the 15 20 minutes then uh, I said uh, you know the, since pork chops a little bigger I'm gonna leave I'm gonna show you share with you this is the traditional way what we're doing this coming pretty good too I'm gonna see if I can close in see they're not dry as much as supposed to be the reason is that olive oil help the one I'm doing with my style they are cooking perfectly fine too you don't even have to turn around these because what it does I just wanted to show it to you the water does penetrate through the steam and that makes it perfect and during uh, the cooking it becomes nice and smooth all over is so moist I'm just turning around, you don't have to flip around. I just wanted to show it to you. I'm gonna let it sit another. I think uh, it's pretty much done. Another 10 minutes the most, but five minutes. So within 35, 40 minutes, the pork chops are ready. If the pork chops are smaller, then I would say 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, since these are real big, huge, it takes a little extra time so I'll come yeah hi it's almost uh, ready and I'm going to pull out I'm going to pull uh, two sets one I made it uh, with my own style with the water steaming nice beautiful they are done I'm gonna bring that other one the one we did uh, with the standard way of doing it you will feel the difference I'm going to taste it I'm gonna share with you which one tastes better if I can close in how beautiful they look in the natural color no food color is added they are beautiful cook right now the one we did without the water just directly into the pan but with my way of doing it, adding a little bit of olive oil, coating over, that gives uh, to perfection also. So good. Nice, smooth texture, beautiful seasoning, delicious. Only one thing, a little bit dry. It's harder to chew. It's not harder to chew in the sense that it's hard for you to swallow it. The other one we added the water. 
money is more of a texture wise like my secret ingredient potato so it's really good I prefer both but I prefer on my style doing doing with the water that brings more into moist into this ribs pork chops and they taste better and also you can preserve it a longer time in a sense uh, not preserving over time but if you are left over even you are eating tomorrow they are still going to be moist. The other one if you eat it now fresh will be perfect if you let it sit and you are thinking planning to do it tomorrow leftover it's definitely going to be dry. So I really appreciate for joining me easy steps cooking in Indian Punjabi style the pork chops uh, thank you very much and I will see you soon with a different recipe with a different ingredient different stuff thank you bye bye